stories online saying sexual harassment and assault isn't just a problem for Hollywood. We're going to speak exclusively with Alyssa Milano, who helped reignite the Me Too movement. We'll talk to her in just a moment, but first, Lindsay Davis has the latest. Beyond the glamour and glitz of Tinseltown, this morning more women in Hollywood are coming forward with claims about the kind of men Molly Ringwald calls all the other Harvey Weinsteins. In an article for The New Yorker, the actress famous for Pretty in Pink describes two alleged incidents of sexual harassment by men in the movie industry when she was in her early teens. Ringwald writes, I never talked about these things publicly because as a woman, it has always felt like I may as well have been talking about the weather. The fallout from the Weinstein scandal is reverberating in countless other industries as women feel empowered to tell their stories for the first time. Maureen York is the chief television critic for Variety. She says she was sexually assaulted by a television executive at a party in 2014. He came after me three times. It took me a while to really be able to say the word sexual assault to myself. Maureen, like so many other women, is finding a supportive community on social media. That movement took off last weekend when Alyssa Milano highlighted it on Twitter, posting, if you've been sexually harassed or assaulted, write me too as a reply to this tweet. Now this morning, 1.5 million tweets and 13 and a half million posts, comments and reactions on Facebook and Twitter. Some of the top employment law firms in the country tell ABC News they're seeing a significant increase in inquiries related to sexual harassment. One firm says calls have tripled. That's an epidemic. The Me Too campaign was first created by Tarana Burke 10 years ago to aid sexual assault survivors in underprivileged communities. This is not about me, it's about survivors. And it's about what survivors need to be healthy and whole. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York.